Okay, I will talk briefly about how uh, derivative. So the definition of derivative is like most of the time by convention, if you only have one variable, you can do the prime. And the, the def and the formula looks like this, the de uh, to total to total derivative. Um, that's a, that's a formal definition in terms of the limit. You can think that as if there's a, if there's a curve, at around one point you see how much it changed for the given given the given distance a. So it's basically the slope of that. Basically, this the height divided by the width, and uh, and intuitively speaking, I think it's the rate of f x changing over a uh, change over x. Uh, let me give you an example of uh, of a free a free fall. We know from the from physics, a free fall is a g uh, g t square over over two. So it looks like a uh, second order polynomial like this. Um, you do the derivative, the rate of the distance, like the drop, the rate of the distance changing over time is essentially the definition of velocity. And that's so by far I, the, 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 the most intuitive example I can think of. So x prime is equal to dt dx is gt. And I will show you how, how after, after this example. Then is so velocity is just keep increasing linearly. And the second derivative, the rate of velocity changing over time, x acceleration. And then do the second derivative, or the first derivative of velocity, or the second derivative of, uh, of distance. Is the is g so gravity uh, like it's acceleration due to gravity? And now uh, the the main part is how to do the integral. The intuitive part is like you can think this is the slope and the slope is keep increasing and the beginning is zero, and the, this slope here is a constant, so this is a constant. Um, then, how to do the derivative? I think we can follow the, uh, follow this list of things. You pretty much can deal with most of the most of the integral that you in your in daily li in daily life. Um, first, of course, a table of derivative. You, uh, where you can just Google the table of derivative. Then you can see that which. Uh, which one you might actually find? The, this, for instance, is the one on the table. And uh, here is a certain, uh, several scenarios. So, for instance, two functions one by together, you can do one not to derivative, another does, and and then the one, the other do do the derivative, and the other doesn't. So, for instance, if it if it do the derivative of x plus one multiplied by x plus two. Then we do derivative of the first one. This is one, this is zero. So one multiplied by x plus two, and plus this, this, multiplied by this to the, do the derivative. The derivative of this is one plus zero. So it's, it's zero. So it's zero. Uh, so it's one. So x plus one multiplied by one. This is my answer. If you just you calculate it, it will be two x plus three. And uh, I actually use this on here, which is if you do the derivative of both two add together, it's basically the derivative is two of the both. And this you can actually use this uh, this concept. You can just regarding one over f as a uh, as a as a function. Anyway, so this is this is basically the the formula, and I won't say it because it's rather.
complicated to, to illustrate, but to, 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 show, to see, say, but prime, prime, and square, in case you cannot see it. So, for instance, sine x over x, so f is x, g is sine x, f square, x square, g prime, cosine x, multiplied by f, multiplied by x, and g, cos, uh, uh, sine x, multiplied by f prime, f prime is 1 multiplied by 1, and that's the answer. And uh, here is the most, one, uh, the most, uh, one of the hardest ones is basically if we have a function f is a function of f of u and u is a function of x, then you pretty much you can think you multiply this whole thing by one. You can and, and one can be written as du over du. Let me rewrite this. Okay. du over du and uh, you can write it then you just move it around this move here and this move there du dx so the example is ex exponential of x squared so as you can see u is x squared and x is x. So you do the e x squared over x squared and dx squared over x. So you so you, u is this, x is this, f is this, and and you can just don't 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 be scared by the look of it. Just think x squared is just a blob, a u, a number. You can or, or uh, sorry, uh, think it as a a single variable u is, is a u over e, e to the u to, over the derivative of e to the u is e e to the u. So you will have e to the x squared and dx squared over x is two x. Then so that's the final answer you will have. And this um, is in a way a definition of integral. So the the derivative of the integral is its own function. So just uh, good to know uh, for the future for the future video that I may illustrate that.